Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, hi, my name is Janelle, and I upload new videos every Wednesday. In today's video, I wanted to just kind of let you guys escape from the chaos going on in the world. Before we get into the video, though, I do want to just quickly address everything that's going on and let you guys know that I'm praying for you, praying for myself, for my family, and just praying for peace and guidance during the situation, praying that people do not panic, praying that people can trust in God, and that everything will work out but we just gotta listen pay attention and not go crazy so anyways with that being said with all that aside i wanted to film today so that way you guys can kind of escape from everything going on and i figured what better look to film than kind of a soft glam natural easy affordable makeup look um something that if you are stuck in your house in quarantine and you're working from home and you want to look put together, but you obviously don't want to put on too much makeup. I feel like this look is perfect for you. It looks like you're put together, but you still look like yourself. I'm using all drugstore products, all under $10. So this look is dumb, affordable. So if you guys want to see how I got this super easy, soft glam, kind of like you, but better makeup look, then definitely please keep watching. Before you go anywhere, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you can be notified every Wednesday when I upload. Love you guys so much, and without any more rambling, let's jump into this makeup look. So for brows today, I'll be using my Morphe Brow Pencil in the shade Mocha. This is a whopping $5, and it is by far one of my favorite brow pencils. It's so affordable. So since I want to keep this look very natural and subtle. I'm gonna start by brushing up all of my brow hairs, and then I'll just outline the bottom of my brow. Cause honestly, I found that lately that is how I prefer my makeup to look. I don't like it when it looks too heavy or cakey. I feel like people are just looking at my makeup and how much is layered on my skin versus like, I don't know, me. Okay. All right, so next up, I'm gonna go ahead and brighten up and conceal my under eyes. To do that, I'll be using my e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer, which I love. I love this because you get good coverage, but it doesn't like stay matte and keeping like your face looking cakey. Go ahead and only dot this where I need it. So like, underneath of my eyes here and under my nose because I do have redness there and a little on my chin and also a little bit on this top part of my nose. And then I'm gonna also mix that with a little bit of my e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer. This one is in the color light peach and the only reason I'm dipping into this one is because I want the concealer a little bit brighter. I feel like this one's a little bit too yellow for my skin right now. So bring it along the sides of my nose. I find that on most days, day-to-day -day basis, if I'm not like going to work and needing a full face of makeup, for day-to-day, -day, I notice that I don't even need foundation. Like by the time I do this part and just conceal my under eyes, I'm good to go. I feel like sometimes though, we get so used to the routine of like, okay, after I do my concealer, now I have to set it. And now I have to go in with foundation and then I have to cream contour and then once I do that I have to use powder like we just drill it in our heads that we need all of these steps more so as a makeup artist that like sometimes you forget to reassess the situation and be like oh wait I don't need this much coverage on my skin like my skin is actually looking somewhat decent today now I'm gonna go ahead and take I actually just picked this up it's the elf hydrating camo concealer but this one is in the shade deep caramel and I'm gonna use this to lightly cream contour the perimeter of my face. Normally I'll use my, um, what is it called? Wet n Wild Contour Stick, but I find sometimes it's like too, it's not liquidy enough to like buff out. So I figured a cream would be perfect. I'm just gonna put a little sides. Taking the same brush that I used to buff out my concealer, I'm just gonna work that into my skin. So now I'm going to take a little bit of my Revlon Candid Foundation. This one's in the shade 330. I almost forgot about this foundation and how much I thoroughly enjoyed it last year when I tried it. I feel like it's perfect for this time of year because it's nice and hydrating, but it still wears nice throughout the day. So I'm just going to take a little bit of that with the same brush. 
and just kind of buff it to fuse everything together. I'm gonna start it like down here. We don't have much product. And then just kind of like buff it upward. I'm gonna take a little bit more of the Brighter Elf Concealer and just put that right in this inner corner just to make sure that part's nice and bright because that part always gets so dark on me. I don't know why. Next, I'm gonna be taking my Makeup Revolution Cream Blush Palette. I have been so obsessed with this palette lately. Like, I just love the colors. I love, honestly, just playing with these blushes on my bare skin. Like if I'm going to the gym, I'll just take a soft brush and just buff that on my cheeks just so I don't look washed out and dead. And that's it, that's my makeup. So that way I kind of look alive, I don't look dead, but you can't tell that I have anything on. I'll mix, I like mixing this brighter pink with this more like soft mauve peachy pink here. And I'll take that with this MAC like long hair dual fiber brush. And I like to push the, ooh, well, a little bit too much. <laughs> but I like to put it like, close to the sides of my nose and then just buff it up into where I have that more like cream bronzer. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and set my under eyes using my Maybelline Fit Me Powder. Don't mind all this gunk that's on it. I am an idiot and I put my lash glue on there to let it set, I know it's gross. But anyways, I'll be using this powder to set and bake my under eye. To do that, I'll be using my e.l.f. Beauty Sponge, which by the way is under $10, it's only five. I love it for like kind of going over all the product, marrying everything together. This is one of my favorite like drugstore beauty sponges. I'll just set it underneath my eye. So I'm pretty much gonna set my T-zone. Everywhere else, I'm gonna let be in my nose. Everywhere else I'll let kind of breathe because I don't want my face to look too powdery. So once that's set there, I'll take some of my Milani Blush in Coral Cove. It's like a beautiful peachy color. And I'll just take that with a blush brush and lightly go over where I creamed contour. And then next to super softly contour and warm up the size of my face, I'll be taking this Profusion Highlight Contour Palette. I love how you get a really light bronzer and then some deeper ones. I'm gonna start by taking the lighter one and sweeping that on the perimeter mark. Ow, I just scratched my nose. I'm gonna sweep that on the perimeter of my face just to give it some warmth without being too harsh. Just taking this JH something brush, JH05 brush. And if you were somebody who does get more oily, you could set the perimeter of your face using this Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Powder. This definitely helps lock the foundation in place without getting too heavy. I'll just put a little bit just to show you guys. And this would also help marry more of the products together. So next for highlight, I've already talked about this highlighter palette in my previous videos. But I love this for giving like an all over soft glow to the cheek. It's the Profusion Blush and Glow Palette. It just melts into the skin so beautifully. Another highlight that I really enjoy is the Wet n Wild one. This one, everybody loves and knows very deep. The only thing is I think the Wet n Wild Precious Petals one that I just showed, I think that might be a little bit too dark for me right now. So I will be taking this one in the Profusion Palette, this color and this soft gold on the end and just lightly sweep that on the highest parts of my cheek and across my forehead. If you wanted to give your skin even more of a glow, you could take this CoverGo True, Bro True Blend Bronzer. This is bronzer, so I don't know the color, but you could take this bronzer and hit the sides of your cheek. I don't like having too much glow though everywhere because my skin can get oily. I'm going to bake underneath of my contour with the same Maybelline Fit Me Powder just to add some more structure. So next I'm going to go ahead and use this L'Oreal Lash Paradise Lash Primer as Brow Gel. I love using this in the brows because it makes them super fluffy and since it goes on white but dries clear it helps kind of soften the color a little bit more. 
X Hickey, one of my favorite blending brushes. This is the Morphe Jaclyn Hill JH32 brush. And I'll be dipping into that same cover of bronzer. And I love using bronzer as shadows. I'm sure this is like not in use for any of you. I'm just gonna buff this in my crease. Keeping it pretty high up because I want to lift my eye. Next, I'm going to take the more warmer, darker color in the Pro Fusions Sculpt Palette. And that's what I'm going to pack all over my eyelid. I'm going to use the same brush to do that. And just sweep it all over. And I'm going to take the lighter color in the palette and lightly sweep that under my brow bone. I'll take a small definer brush with the lightest color in this palette and put that in my inner corner. I'll also take that darker color and sweep that on my lower lash line with a pencil brush. Now taking this LA Girl Ultimate Eyeliner in the shade Lasting Brown, I'm gonna put that on my top waterline just to make the eyes pop and give a little more drama. One thing I like to do too is I'll like close my eye and kind of run it and then it'll also get on my lower lash line. Once I have most of the product there, I'll take an angled brush and just lightly smudge it out I'm kind of like angle it up. Up, almost poke my eyeball out. And then I'm gonna take my LA Girl lip pencil and keep it spicy. I use this in my last drugstore video. It's one of my favorite lip pencils. Why is one liner down lower than the other? What do you mean down lower? On the inner corner. In here? Yeah. The one on the left is a lot, your left eye is a lot lower than your right eye. This one and then this one? Yeah. Alex is over here critiquing my makeup. Or maybe the one on the left is darker. All right, and then I'm going to color in the inside of my lip using the color Canis. It's the NYX Soft Matte Lip Pencils. This one there reminds me so much of the MAC Lip Pencil Formula. The only difference is, is that it comes smaller, which is I think why it's cheaper, but Still really good and still a great price. They're like six bucks. So I'm just gonna color in the inside of my lip. And I find that lip pencils give a much more natural finish to the lip because they just like blend it. I don't know how to explain it. Like you can't tell that there's anything really on top, especially if you just kind of like smudge it out with your finger. And then over top of that, I'm gonna use this Ulta Beauty Juice Infused Lip Oil. I love this stuff. It gives such a pretty, like, glossy, hydrated finish. So I'm just gonna put that on. It's also pretty on its own, and it tastes and smells really good. <laughs> so for mascara today, I'll be using this L'Oreal Voluminous Million Lashes Mascara. I've been enjoying this one. And I'll just coat my lashes because I will be applying falsies. Entonces, for my false lashes, I'll be using these ones from Amazon. These are different than the ones I've used in the last couple videos, but they're super pretty and wispy and they kind of have longer length on the end. I've used these in a couple other videos. I will link my Amazon shop down below so you guys can shop all my Amazon favorites, including my favorite Amazon lashes. I'm also going to take this Morphe white eyeliner while my lash glue dries and I'm going to pop that in my waterline. All right, and then I'm gonna go ahead and set my face using my Maybelline Lasting Fix Setting Spray to lock it all in place. And this is the reality of doing your makeup. Mascara gets everywhere. Then you wanna cry and you're running late and you just don't know what to do, so you wanna wipe off your whole face makeup. I'm here to tell you how you can fix this. So, you wanna wait for it to dry first, and then I'm gonna grab a Q-tip. So once it's dried and you have your Q-tip, let it dry some more. The thing is, is that if you don't wait for it to dry and you rub it while it's wet, that's when it starts to smear everywhere. 
sometimes if I have to, I will take a little bit more concealer, just like a tiny bit on the back of my hand. And I'll take like the brush that we were using earlier and just work it into the brush really lightly and then just kind of graze it under my eye. And voila, you can't really tell. Then you can add a little bit more mascara. All right, you guys, and here you have it. This is my super easy, just kind of go to a soft glam, natural, but you can still tell that you have on makeup, makeup look, but you still look like yourself. Perfect for, like I said, a brunch, lunch with your girlfriends, a dinner date where you don't want to look too extra, but you want to look like yourself with some makeup. So this is the kind of makeup that I have been enjoying the most lately. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this makeup look, enjoyed another look on a budget. If you did like it, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Definitely don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you can be notified every Wednesday when I upload. I love you guys so much and without further ado, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.